from the Discord this week, and it is about the fact that it is from the Discord in some ways. And we alluded to this last week, but Ooh. yep, here you go. You, I know you, what's going. you know what the question is. Um, <clears throat> will the Dark Horse podcast have to move to a new platform now that Discord has bent the knee? And there's a link to an article in The Verge, the first paragraph of which reads... After two years of pandemic, Discord is making its policies more clear about health misinformation. In new community guidelines, which go into effect on March 28th, Discord says users, quote, may not share false or misleading information on Discord that is likely to cause physical or societal harm. End quote. This includes content that could result in damage to physical infrastructure, injury to others, and content that endangers, wait for it, public health. One has to wonder what the people who make these policies understand about how the world works they are 24 and they've been miseducated and I, you know these 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 uh i was gonna say pronouns these um millennials prefixes prefixes <laughs> <laughs> no and it's not millennials who are 24 at this point these um True. <clears throat> Uh, these prefixes miss dis and mal are now of course completely tainted um but they have been miseducated and they're young and the combination uh, means that you put them in charge and you, you give them power and you know of course they're gonna make totalitarian and insane rules i i have to say i can't accept this i <laughs> i don't i didn't say it was cool no no oh you don't like you don't think the answer is right is that right right okay how do they think we come to understand what's true in the first place it's religion it is it's it's a religion and it imagines that th those people who believe the one true thing have been served by god or something and it's they don't call it god because they don't think they're religious it's part of you know part of what's going on these are people who explicitly largely don't think they're religious at all they think they don't have faith and this is a you know question on which you have you and i but you especially have have talked and thought a lot and so that they, you know, they are the recipient of the of the one true faith, and they don't think it's faith, and um, therefore what they do to inform those of us who haven't seen the light is just force it on us, like hammered into our brains or something. Well, that you know, <clears throat> they don't have a model beyond that of how it is that we come to understand things. Okay, that's I, possible. I, I think uh, that is possible. Mm -hmm. There's also another possibility which is back in the dark days after 9-11, the tech companies were handed mandates with absolutely <clears throat> uh, draconian types of coercion. They were effectively told, you must hand over data on mm -hmm. your customers, and if you tell anyone that you have been forced to hand over data, then you are guilty of uh, supporting terrorism. Tech companies, you said, or like phone companies? Because there weren't, there wasn't, yeah, this the, was pre-Facebook even. It's, no, right? I'm not saying tech platforms. I'm saying uh, it was phone. Communi comms. Yeah, communication companies. Yeah. And so the point is, if somebody comes to you and they say, well, you are required by law to hand over this thing, mm -hmm. and you are required by law not to tell anyone that you've handed over this thing, um, and if you do hand it over, then you're actually helping the terrorists, and we have this law that makes you vulnerable to all sorts of... So useful. Right. <clears throat> so the question is, is something like that taking place here, mm -hmm. where Discord, which is, after all, a mechanism for gamers to talk to each other that has been adopted by others, but it doesn't have any business deciding what's true and what's not true. That's not what it's for. We can't have companies that make paper decide they're not going to sell paper to people who write bad ideas on it. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it can't have an opinion and yet it seems to. And the question is, does it have an opinion because the people who run it are that, is there a nice synonym for dumb? Because it's really dumb to think that the, that you could actually run a society in which you're not allowed to discuss the possibility that the officials are wrong. Is batshit crazy considered a nice synonym? I like it, okay. um, but <clears throat> uh, the basic point is, I don't know whether this is the behavior of people who are confronted with um, an, uh, 
some kind of coercion that we can't see? Or is this actually them being brown shirts and doing the bidding of something? Well, <clears throat> I guess I would also ask if those are two fully distinct categories. I don't think they are. No, I think they are. I think okay, the, say, say them again then. I mean, you know, maybe I don't know my history well enough, but my sense is that brown shirts are effectively um, not coerced into brown shirting. They are, and they are conscious of the of what they are enacting. They are they are taking it upon themselves okay. to advance the policy. Okay, okay, yep. Um, <clears throat> so I th I guess I was I was hearing like brown shirty behavior, um, but yeah, you know, like people people come to be true believers and may not be in the employ of something that is forcing them in any way, but uh, they come to you know welcome more and more the role that they had adopted with unwittingly at first. Yeah. I mean, it is, it is in fact, just simply a kind of fascism where effectively the, the powerful nation becomes a bludgeon mm -hmm. and it, you know, goes after uh, entities that cannot protect themselves. So Indeed. the short answer yep. for the discord folks <coughs> is that we certainly need a backup plan and probably need to enact it because... So that's let, 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 let me do this. Yeah, um, we need a short-term backup plan right away, and uh, we are working on it. We need a longer-term plan uh, that will be immune uh, to such coercion, but of course, it needs to be immune at all the layers. And um, part of the call for web developers from a few weeks ago, and no, we don't need any more. We had so many amazing applicants. Um, is in part. Um, in service of potentially building, um, yeah, you know, at, at the moment, Discord is a perk of being on our Patreons, um, and is where the Dark Horse community lives. And um, if we had something that was independent of of Discord and of Patreon, and you know, of of all of all of these sort of sorts of tech platforms, which are demonstrably censorious, which are like eagerly censorious now, uh, the community would be more robust, and we would as well. And so, obviously, that's something that we want it will take time to build um, but uh, it is it is the long-term plan to do so and we also need a short-term uh, backup and we are um, we're working on that as well yeah it's the malinformation that gets you it's always something